Good morning, everyone. I know you all are, are filtering in here as we get settled, but we are so thankful that you all are joining us today from all across the world. My name is Hunter Haston. I'm one of our assistant directors of admissions counseling within the undergraduate admissions office at Baylor. And we are joined today by several members of the pre-health office at, at Baylor. And so I wanted to go ahead and uh, get it started. I'll introduce um, Michelle Savoy. She's our program director of the pre-health office. Thank you so much, Hunter. Welcome everyone to the pre-health presentation. I'm Michelle Savoy. I oversee advising and a couple other aspects of the pre-health office. And I'm really excited today that you're going to get to hear from our pre-health ambassadors. They, these are some of the top pre-health students here at Baylor who were nominated and chosen to serve as pre-health ambassadors. And I am just going to let them take it away. So uh, Sydney, you are up next. Hey guys, sorry my voice is a little gone, but I'm Sydney. I'm a senior biochemistry major. Um, yeah, and I'm super excited to be a pre-health ambassador. And our next ambassador is Josh. Hey everyone, I am Josh Tile. I am a sophomore neuroscience major on the pre-med track, and I'm super excited to see what y'all have to say about or have to say about Baylor Pre-Health. The next ambassador is Sophie. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Sophie Ringer. I'm also a sophomore. I study health sciences here, and I'm on the pre-physical therapy track. Um, today, I'm going to be walking you through a PowerPoint presentation that gives you an idea of what life is as a Baylor pre-health student. Okay, so first slide is the Office of Pre-Health Studies. So our primary goal here at Baylor is to prepare you um, for a dynamic career in healthcare. That involves your academic coursework, but that also involves service um, and research. It goes so much far like beyond the classroom, um, and we um, have a great concern about turning you into a great person as well as a great student. And this involves um, our endeavors in research and service. Okay, these are some of the pre-professional programs that we sponsor here at Baylor. Um, Pre-med and pre-dent, these are our two primary um, courses of study. There are a lot of students involved in this and so much preparation um, that Baylor provides you if you choose to go down one of these routes. Our next um, includes optometry, pharmacy, vet, physician's assistant, physical therapy, and occupational therapy. Um, they, all of these um, coursework are offered here. We have advisors that can help you get to the graduate schools of choice for all of these programs. And anybody who has a question, just drop it in the Q&A and uh, Sydney, Josh and I will be answering them. Okay, a common misconception I think when coming into undergrad is that your pre-health focus is your major. You can actually choose to study whatever you like. Um, as long as you um, achieve the required coursework for your graduate school of choice, you are able to study whatever major you would like. Um, there's curricular requirements for each of these tracks. So there are your courses, your biology, your chemistry, your anatomy courses that will be required um, for you to attend graduate school, but you can choose a major that doesn't necessarily um, align directly with this. I know I have friends that actually study business and are still on a pre-med track. So it is very much possible to study what you wish and still get into the graduate school of your choice. Okay. So these are some of the advantages um, of choosing Baylor University as a pre-health student. We have amazing faculty. I know for me personally, I have developed really great relationships with my professors. They so like badly want you to succeed and that involves outside of the classroom. I know I confide in some of my professors just about my day-to-day -day life and they wanna make sure that you are doing well on a personal level as well as in the classroom. We have a really awesome student community here at Baylor. Um, this involves our organization, our ambassadors, um, as well as many clubs. Um, there are awesome ways to get involved. We have a lot of research opportunities. As I was saying in the first slide, um, research is really big here at Baylor. There's a lot of professors that sponsor research opportunities. There's research organizations. There are so many ways to get involved if that is something you wish to do during undergrad. We also offer internships. Internships are super big. Um, it's super essential for graduate school and for getting a career to get that hands-on experience during undergrad. And the Office of Pre-Health Studies really sets students up well to get those internships um, that are great for grad school. And then we have our Science and Health Living Learning Center. 
that is a dorm that you can live in here as a freshman on campus that is houses all of our science students, um, which is really awesome because you get to know your classmates outside of the classroom, you get to live with them, go to class with them, attend events and just meet people that are going through the similar experiences as you. Okay, so some of the pre-health coursework that we offer. The first is PHP 1105. That is a freshman seminar type course. And that is a course you wanna take if you are set on pre-med, you wanna be a doctor and MD. This class is awesome. They give you information on that career. They have panelists and speakers that can give you their firsthand experience um, and help you get an idea of what your next four years are gonna look like. PHP 1106 is a course if you know you want to go into healthcare, but you're not exactly sure what track you want to take. That's the course that I took as a physical therapy student. They bring in um, pharmacists, PTs, OTs, nurse practitioners, all the different fields, and you can get an idea of a bunch of different careers. And it, I know it helped me personally a lot figure out, like solidify that I wanted to do PT. Um, PHP 2101 and PHP 2102 are like more so upper level courses. One of those is your research course, um, which is great if you want to get involved in research, and one being your internship, which is essential. I know if you are a health science major, that internship um, is required to graduate, which is a really awesome way. Um, it looks great on a resume, and to get that hands-on experience is super important. Okay, some of the special programs that we offer um, here in the pre-health office. The first, I believe we're going to talk about a little bit more later in the presentation, but it is at College of um, Tropical Medicine Summer Institute. Baylor has a College of Tropical Medicine located in Houston, and you can do a lot of internship and research opportunities there. It's great because it's not too far and you get to look at global health, which is something that you might not be able to do in a traditional undergrad setting. Um, we also, also host a pre-health symposium, which is awesome because you get to hear um, from professionals in all different fields of study um, in medicine and healthcare. Um, and get to meet them one-on-one -on -one and hear from them. We have our pre-health committee for evaluation and letters. This is something that's so important when you get in those upper years of undergrad because they will set you up to make sure that you are right on track to make sure you get into the graduate school of choice. They will um, help you as a pre-med student. If you get a letter from them, it's a big, it's a great accomplishment because it sets you up great for getting into medical school. They That means that they have evaluated you as a person, as a student, and they think that you are fit. Um, and that is awesome because they're there as a support system and it can just give you an extra boost where you feel like you're ready to go to grad school. Um, again, that Science and Health Living Learning Center I was discussing, which is awesome. And pre-health mentors, um, a program we kind of set up where you are paired with um, students that are older than you that have gone through your course of study before. And they are there as mentors and a support system if you have questions. Um, and they are great. It's great to have someone who's been through it before you to help you out. It makes the biggest difference. Okay, that National School of Tropical Medicine, that is what I was discussing before. They offer a two-week course at the Medical Center in Houston, as well as a 10-week summer research internship. Um, tropical medicine zones in on like global health and diseases that are distinct to um, areas like around the world. And this is awesome because you might not be able to experience things like that. Um, unless you attend this and you get to meet um, people that work in this field and interact with the leaders in the field of global health. And if that's something you're interested in, I would definitely recommend it. Okay. Pre-Med in Dublin is another special program that we host. They, um, This is an opportunity to study abroad. If you are interested in studying abroad, or even if you don't think so, I would definitely look into it because the friends that I have had that have gone on this trip like have absolutely loved it. You get to take your relevant, exciting coursework overseas. And these classes, if you are concerned that you're like, I don't know, like, is it going to be the same education? Is it going to be like a difference, you know, a difference in teaching style? These courses are taught by Baylor faculty. So there will be no disconnect. You'll receive all the information you need to know, and you will not be behind um, for graduate school. They have engaging faculty. You get to go with your classmates from Baylor, which is really awesome way to like get closer with people in your major. And they go on trips throughout this study abroad that are related to healthcare um, throughout Ireland. Okay, student orgs. So there are a like plethora of student orgs on campus within pre-health and without like outside of pre-health. Um, but for each track, I have found that there's one to multiple 
um, different organizations. I know for pre-med, there's organizations focused on research. There's organizations focused on service. Um, or there's even organizations where if you just want to meet people and just get to know each other, there's those too. Um, you get exposure to health professions of interest. You have so much community engagement. Like I said, like having people that have been through it before you is so essential. Um, and you get to network, which is awesome for getting into grad school, for getting jobs, like getting to meet people um, in the field. It's great to have connections. So these are some of those organizations that I was discussing. Um, I know that AED is more of a general. If you're in any pre-health course of study, you can join AED. It's an honor society, a great way to meet people. Um, those first, those next four are going to be um, med focused. There's Bears Medical Student Association and MSO, which is a service organization. Those are both huge on campus. Um, a great way to get involved, a great thing to put on a resume and meet people. We also have a lot of pre-health organizations that are um, multicultural or, you know, gender focused. We have a women's association, AMWA, as well as LASH, which is a Latinx association. So if you want to meet people that are in a similar um, that are similar to you within your pre-health organization, those are awesome um, ones to join. Um, SPOTA and POPs and Physician's Assistant, I've worked with all of them personally. They're all super great. They put on fun events. Um, and I would recommend getting involved in an organization on campus. Okay, now we have the pre-health mentors. This is a program that we have set up. Um, to offer peer guidance and mentorship. They bring in speakers and panels, which is awesome because you get to hear information from professionals in the field um, and get a better idea of what it's like to actually work day to day um, in those jobs. You get that one on one mentorship with um, a student who is older than you. Um, it's great to ask older friends how they studied for courses, what professors they really loved and advice is super helpful. So this program really sets you up for that. Okay, so this is some of our contact information. If you are interested in any of the stuff we have discussed or have questions beyond that, please reach out. Um, that is our email on the top, Pre-Health Ambassadors. And that I would say is like the best way to get a hold of us. We all check it um, and respond promptly as well as follow us on social media to get updates um, on what we're doing, what events we're hosting and how to get involved. We're now gonna transition into a Q and A um, where the ambassadors are gonna answer all the questions that you have. Okay, so we've been answering uh, questions in the Q&A while Sophie's been giving uh, such a great presentation. And um, I will jump in and try to maybe clarify some things or uh, you know, see if anybody else had the same questions and maybe hadn't read through the Q&A. Uh, does Baylor have a medical school to apply to? There is Baylor College of Medicine, however, we are not affiliated. They're not part of the Baylor University system, but we are very close, good friends with them. You saw the National School of Tropical Medicine on there. We send students there every summer, and we do have the Baylor to Baylor medical track, which is uh, the first Baylor, and that's Baylor University. The second Baylor, and that is Baylor College of Medicine. They accept six students per year for that Baylor to Baylor track. Um, and it's through Baylor admissions. Uh, students are invited to apply for that program. Uh, I don't know exactly what the interview process is at the moment as everything is still going between virtual and in person and, and some things are switching back and forth. So I know that admissions is working really hard on uh, bringing everything back in person when possible, uh, but students, uh, you know, if you apply to Baylor, it's, it's through that process and that we do work in the pre-health office here in the undergrad level with our B2B students. Um, I have several of them that I work closely with in the science research fellows. And so, yeah, they're a big part of our, our pre-health program here at Baylor. Um, one of the questions that I'm not able to answer is any of the ambassadors wanna share internship or research experience um, or if you lived at Earl Hall and want to talk about it. So I can say my office is at Earl Hall, but I don't live there. So I will turn it over to an ambassador. I don't have a specific internship experience, but I was able to go to Kenya on a medical mission trip this past summer. And we were able to go do research and help them and help collect uh, research while we were in Kenya. And we were also able to help the physicians over there 
triage, scribe, shadow. Um, so it wasn't like an official internship experience, but I was able to go do medical missions in Kenya, which was very helpful and in pretty much confirming that I wanted to be a physician, um, you know, and, and just help people across the globe and not just in, in the city that I'm hopefully going to live in in the future. Thank you, Josh. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm, I'm looking through the ones that we haven't answered because it may just be quicker to answer uh, like this. Let's see, Baylor's medical school acceptance rate. So of the students who go through our pre-health committee process, which right now is for pre-med and pre-dents, we have about a 70 to 80% acceptance rate in any given year. You know, it changes a little bit each year. Uh, we do have uh, qualifications to go through the pre-health committee. So you have to have a 3.3 science and math GPA. You have to have started your physics sequence when you start the process and finish it. Um, by the end of the process, it's a year-long process, either your junior or senior year. It's the academic year before which you're going to apply. And we are starting a committee process for pre-PA students. Uh, our advisor, Mrs. Calvillo, is working on that and it'll be piloted this academic year next spring. So we're very excited about that. Um, the average, let's see, sorry, I'm scrolling down. You, there's a lot of questions. Um, uh, any idea what percentage of freshmen are in internships? I don't have those numbers. Uh, I will say that a lot of our internships through the pre-health office tend to be after sophomore or junior year because some of them do involve, uh, require advanced biology or advanced chemistry courses in, in, able, uh, in order for the student to really do well in the internship and understand what it's about. So even the National School of Tropical Medicine, uh, I think usually that's after sophomore year because there is some advanced biology, biology knowledge that would be needed for that. They're coming in so fast now. Sorry, guys, it's taking me a minute. And if any of the uh, ambassadors want to jump in on anything, please go ahead. Oh, so I I'm a, oh. oh, go ahead, Josh. Sorry. So I had a question about medical missions through Baylor or through outside Baylor. So I was actually able to complete my medical mission trip um, in Kenya through Baylor. It was it was a really cool process. It was with two past Baylor professors. And it was also really cool because the mission trip that we were on, and one of the really cool things that Baylor does is establishing a relationship with the people that you're going to help as well. So this medical mission trip has actually been continuing for around 15 years at this point. So physicians that also went with us on the trip went um, also went on the trip when they were in undergrad as well. So it was very cool not only to, you know, increase my confidence that I do want to be a physician, but it's also cool hearing from people who are in my spot and are now physicians on what that process was like as well. So there are me multiple medical mission trips that come through Baylor, but I, I'm sure there are also medical mission trips that will come outside of Baylor that you can go to as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Josh. Um, somebody asked about the specific courses pre-med students take. So we had slides on that at one point. We took them out because there were there's, a, there's just a lot of information. Uh, students typically need 14 hours of biology to go to medical school. That's a minimum. Most students are going to take more. Eight hours of general chemistry, eight hours of organic chemistry, three hours of biochemistry, eight hours of physics, uh, three hours of statistics, and psychology and sociology because they're on the MCAT, not because they're required by medical school. So I know that's a lot of information rattled off at you very quickly. We have pre-health curricular planners for each of our eight areas. They're available on our website. They're printed out in front of our office at a magazine rack. We also have them over at our Science and Health LLC Earl Hall. And if you come for an in-person visit uh, where you would meet our wonderful ambassadors in person because they give the presentations, those uh, planners are right there outside the classroom where they give the presentation. So we do have those available, but they are online at our website, baylor.edu slash prehealth. So you can check those out. Uh, I will, I'm gonna do another quick plug for the Dublin program. Uh, the Dublin program is designed for the fourth semester. So your, your spring of sophomore year. Uh, it sometimes says pre-med in Dublin. It is open to all of our pre-health students. 
And the courses that are offered over there right now are organic, uh, the second organic chemistry, human physiology, a research lab, and then a, a handful of electives that the students choose to take. Uh, I'm the one going over to Dublin in the spring to help settle the students and then taking them on spring break in London for a week. So it's a really cool experience. Uh, they get to go on all kinds of health related field trips and spend a week in London, uh, going to various museums. I know last year they visited Cambridge. I think this year we're looking to go visit Oxford. Uh, and it's just a great program because we strongly and highly encourage study abroad. It's such a fantastic experience, but if you're pre-health, it can be difficult to find one that has science classes because you're gonna need a lot of science classes and we want you to stay on track. So Dublin was designed with that in mind that you are getting the courses you would take here at Baylor anyway, and you're not having to shuffle um, all of your schedule around in order to make it work. So that's, uh, they've gone, we've had one semester, we're about to have our second group go over this spring. So it's, it's going well so far and we look forward to that continuing. See if any ambassadors wanna jump in and answer any of these live. All right, we have time for one more question. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. Uh, are there specific courses I should take in high school before I come into Baylor? So it's a tricky question. Uh, with things like AP and dual credit for sciences, I'm not going to discourage you taking those, but for especially for our pre-meds, um, Biology and chemistry and physics are best taken here at Baylor. So if you're taking AP and you get that AP credit, we're gonna encourage you to take the class portion of biology and chemistry your freshman year, and maybe just take the AP credit for the labs so that you're not retaking the labs. But it is very difficult, even for incredibly high achieving high school students to jump straight into genetics, which is the next biology course or organic chemistry, which is the next level of chemistry. AP classes don't come with a GPA. I'd love to see you start uh, with a 4.0 here at Baylor by making A's in those biology and chemistry courses. Uh, and so that when you do move up to that higher, more difficult level of the sciences, you've got a really strong foundation. You've shown that you're a very strong science student and you've made those connections with the science professors because you're gonna need to have uh, some letters of recommendation from science professors when you start applying for your professional schools. So, uh, but dual credit or AP English, psychology and sociology, uh, calculus. Uh, a lot of students don't love calculus for some reason. So we're very much uh, supportive if you'd like to take your AP credit for calculus or if you'd like to go to a community college and do dual credit or even over the summer take calculus and transfer that credit in. You can talk to your admissions counselor to make sure that you're taking uh, the right courses that will transfer into Baylor. But the science courses, love it when you take higher level science courses, but we wanna make sure that you're uh, getting the preparation you need to be successful moving on. And not every medical school accepts AP credit. So we're very mindful of that when we're recommending that you retake the classroom portion here at Baylor. We just wanna make sure that you're hitting the, the prerequisites for as many uh, health profession schools of your choosing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Michelle, Sophie, Josh, Sydney, for, for your time this morning. Um, it's been fun hearing and learning more about the pre-health office. Um, for all of you families listening, uh, we will have these recordings available in the next few weeks. Um, so if you missed some things or needed to go back and check out some items, uh, we'll be sending out those links here pretty soon. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll uh, jump off and let you join uh, your next session that should be starting here in the next four or five minutes. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day.